Hey the YouTube baby give it back today and I got a little bit of everything video. <clears throat> um first and foremost it's a pickup. It's a little mini discussion and uh I got a request to see the light line in double dragon after I clean my game um with that cleaner, so if I can get a better picture of it, I will. Um, maybe I didn't discuss this correctly, but when I say light, it is very, very light. Like you, even if you can't see it on camera, you have to move the cartridge a little bit to actually see it. So I actually uh, I got an extra light that I always use, but I forgot to last time. So we can see. Maybe we can see if we can get a better picture of that very light line. Hopefully, yeah. See, right there down the side. Hopefully that's the extra lights picking that up. Uh, that's about the equivalent to the other light line, so that's really not that bad if you're getting rust off your games. And then somebody wanted to see you know, the spots over again where the rust used to be, so it's all shiny. I promise. I'm not a, I'm not a big doofus liar face. So uh, there's the really light spots on front. I don't know if you've seen them or not. Okay. And uh, secondly, if you don't know, um, I, I find this kind of interesting. Just ask you guys a little question and see what you guys think. Even if you're not a fan, um, Guitar Hero games are going to, from what I understand, are stopped. They're done. They're done being made because the uh, uh, the workforce is being cut by 7% and that company is just completely shutting it down on that, that series. I just heard it on the news, which is kind of weird because... It seems like very few games get attention on the news, and when they do, it's it's something some people really don't care about, but it's still interesting to me. So, my question to you guys is, do you think that uh, certain Guitar Hero games or variations are going to be rare uh, within the next six months or so? I personally think that, uh, I think some of the different variations that are out there could be. And, you know, I think it'll be beneficial to have the one or two of them on the newer gen systems for uh, later down the road. Maybe somebody, there'll be a big frenzy and somebody will buy them all up, who knows. Last but not least is as a pickup. Now before I get into this, let me just say, I tested it, it does work, but there are some minor issues, unfortunately. Uh, you see this little cord here. There it is. There's little, little slices all in it, so you really had to maneuver it. Yeah, that, that part's really bad. I really had to maneuver it to uh, get it to work, but it's a plug and play, and uh... I have a f quite a few of these. I really don't collect these, but this one was very, very interesting to me. And it, it is worth a little bit more. So that's cool. Um, this is... I looked at it and I was like... I've seen plug and plays before, but not quite like that. So uh, I picked, decided to pick it up. Which is really cool. Check that out. This is a... It looks like a little arcade in itself. It's a Miss Pac-Man machine by Radica, 2004. I love the retro uh, just style of this thing. But here's the thing that just threw me off and I couldn't understand about this. This is like way before it's time. Well, not way before it's time, but this is like really cool to see. It's it's wireless. This hooks up to the system. Or you set this up by your TV. You got your little wireless. And it works pretty damn good, I'd say. So, uh... I didn't know this variation existed, and um, this is basically just like the other Miss Pac-Man plug and play. But I, I couldn't remember. But I think um, there's one, maybe two different games that aren't included in the other one. I don't remember the name of it, but um, I know Miss Pac-Man, Mappy, Pole Position, and uh, I think Exeus or Xavius or something like that. The shooting games on there, and then there's one I know for sure different game. Maybe I'll do some gameplay on it, but it's it's kind of poopy because there's no sound. I got the video great, the, the controls work great, everything works great, good condition. Except uh, I'm either going to have to try and repair this wire or completely change it, which I'm pretty sure I found where it comes apart. There's a screw hole right there, and there's a screw hole right there. So if anybody has, I know there's videos on YouTube, but if anybody has any very... Um, foolproof ways to get stickers off without damaging them and without you know like making them lose their sticky ness I guess please uh, PM me or give me your suggestions because I really want to take this apart and I really want to change that wire out I, I think it's may involve a little bit of soldering but I think that or just swapping I don't know which but I think it's something I can handle and it's something I'd like to do is try to learn how to repair some video game type stuff 
So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a variety video. So uh, keep on keeping on. Hey, big out.